Now to the latest escalation in the Middle East. Iranian-backed militants on boats in the Red Sea attacking another commercial ship. The militants firing at U.S. helicopters who responded with deadly force. ABC's Britt Klenet is in Tel Aviv with the latest developments. Britt, good morning. Good morning. We're, yeah, we're closely watching tensions in the Red Sea after the U.S. Central Command announced for the first time that it killed Iran-backed Houthi militants who were trying to attack a container ship in one of the world's major trade routes. This morning, as threats of a wider escalation in this war loom large, the U.S. military for the first time saying it killed Iran-backed Houthi rebels in the Red Sea after coming under attack while responding to a distress call. U.S. Central Command saying Navy helicopters acting in self-defense after being fired upon responded by sinking three of four small Houthi boats that were trying to attack a container ship. All crew members were killed. The fourth boat fled. So far, the U.S. has only publicly announced shooting down Houthi-launched drones and missiles. It's the second time in 24 hours that U.S. forces have come under attack by the Houthis in the Red Sea. The U.S. Central Command earlier saying an American missile destroyer shot down two anti-ship ballistic missiles fired from areas controlled by the Houthis. Altogether, the Houthis have launched at least 23 attacks on the Red Sea since the Israel-Hamas war began. In a rare interview with ABC News this week, Houthi leader Muhammad Ali al-Houthi signaling that the attacks would not stop as long as Israel continues its offensive in Gaza, but Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appearing steadfast in his mission to destroy Hamas. <laughs> now vowing to take back control of Gaza's border with Egypt, saying the corridor should be in Israeli hands, as that's the only arrangement that ensures demilitarization. Netanyahu also saying the war against Hamas will continue for many more months. And guys, back to those tensions in the Red Sea. So far, no response from the Houthis after this morning's deadly confrontation. But on Friday, the militant group had warned the U.S. against any escalation towards its people. Wit. Rick Clannett, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.